Are you ready to transform your back and unleash a powerhouse of strength? Join us in Back Bliss, where we'll guide you through an exhilarating workout routine designed to target and tone every muscle in your back. From powerful lat exercises to spine-tingling routines, get ready to build a strong aesthetic back that will leave you standing tall and confident. Say goodbye to back pain and hello to a sculpted, resilient physique. Let's embrace the burn and unlock the key to a back that commands attention. Get ready to redefine your strength and shape in this ultimate back-focused workout journey. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm excited to see you here. I'm Shiloh and today we're going through a back workout that is going to sculpt and strengthen every inch of your back. But before we jump in, if you haven't yet, smash the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss a workout with me. So, have you done it? Have you done it? Have you done it? You should. You should. Go ahead and do that real quick. All right, let's fire up those muscles because in today's back workout weather, you are a seasoned pro or you are just a beginner. This one's for everybody. And if that's debatable to you, then clearly you need to practice more and train more because there's no need to be scared of an exercise unless it's something actually scary and very reckless. So, Without further ado, we got a killer lineup today. So for the workout, we're gonna be doing deadlifts. And then we're gonna do pull-ups. And then after the pull-ups, we're gonna do some barbell shrugs, barbell bent over rows, and we're gonna hit some biceps. And at the very end of the workout, if you stick around, we got an exercise with a little bit of secret sauce, stuff that I've been experimenting with that seems to have some good results. So stick around to see the secret saucy sauce of an exercise of an amazing pull day. But of course, before we get into that, we gotta do a quick warm up because whether you're a pro or a beginner, warming up is for everybody. Injury prevention should be number one. You are lifting weights to build your body and strengthen your body, not just to tear it down. Remember that, it's a big distinction. Remember. And make sure that you do warm up every time that you work out. Make time for it, it is extremely important. So we're gonna warm up together real quick and get ready for the ultimate back day workout. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and start warming up. And a part of the warm up routine is we need to do activation exercises and then some specific warm ups right after. So we're gonna go ahead and do a couple activation exercises. I'm gonna speed these next clips up and put a little description on the screen for you as to why I'm doing it. Follow along if you want the best back in the world. warm-up done it's time to get to work and first up on the list like I said we have the amazing deadlift and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a specific warm-up now for almost every exercise until we're completely warm we're able to start hitting it hard as we go through the rest of the workout so we're gonna warm up with a little bit of weight so find a good weight for you and let's dive into the first set Now that we've warmed up for deadlift, let's work up just a little bit heavier. Deadlift is a fantastic exercise because of how many muscles that you use in your body. And of course, we're really gonna be working and strengthening that erector spinae. So let's go ahead and increase a little bit of the intensity here on the deadlift, but make sure that you make a jump that you can handle. Safety first and make sure your form is tight and correct. So we warmed up just a little bit. Let's make sure that we have the cues and the form correct 
on deadlift. So first, what we wanna be able to do, is we wanna make sure that we are halfway across the feet there at the bottom, that this bar is crossing that halfway point when you are looking down. It's gonna look a little different from you there on the camera. So once you do that, make sure your feet are shoulder width apart and halfway through the bar. The bar is intersecting halfway through the foot. Now we are gonna reach down just outside of our knees here and grab the bar. And the thing is when you go down, hinge at the hips and then bend your knees so those shins touch the bar. From here, you wanna take a deep breath, brace your core, tighten your lats, and step up with the bar. You really wanna focus on the cue to push the ground away. Of course, you're standing up with the bar, but once you push that ground away, you'll find yourself to be extremely powerful. All right, now remember, quality over quantity here. Really engage those lats, focus on control, stay braced, protect your lower back, and make sure that you control the weight. And now, control on the descent. Beautiful. All right, we got done with the deadlifts. We demonstrated our proper form, and we really got the back burning on that one, didn't we? So we're not gonna waste any time. We're going right into wide grip pull-ups. Don't worry if you can't do many, or if you can't do a pull-up at all. We're in this together, so use assistance or machines as needed. So let's go ahead and dive in and grow that back. Now, no need to worry. If you struggle with pull-ups, there's multiple ways to accommodate to make sure that you can follow along. One, you can do lat pull-downs if you have equipment with you. Two, if you have any bands and you have somewhere to pull up with, you can add bands through different parts of equipment to make sure you have a little bit of a boost or tie it up here and step in with your foot. So there's a lot of different variations. I recommend if you can't do a pull up yet and you don't have bands, try to find a local gym or space or someone that you know that has a lat pull down machine so you can do some weight and go through the movement and begin to develop and strengthen those muscles. So, cues to make sure that we're doing this right and keeping the form correct is we want to make sure that we're engaging the lats as much as possible. I enjoy going wide. So, when we're grabbing onto this bar, we're going to go right here past shoulder width. And once we do this, what we're going to do is focus on internally rotating those elbows so we're in line with those lat fibers. So, when we're pulling up, we're tucked in just a little bit getting more lat recruitment. Now, a lot of people who have done pull-ups before is a big issue is the body likes to swing and it tears the grip up. So what we wanna make sure that we do is engage the core, lock those feet together and stick them out in front of you and brace your core. So grab on, lock, brace, internally rotate and we go up. I can't pull up on that side because I would hit my head. So, join me for this exercise. Let's follow along and get this done. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into the next exercise. We're gonna do some bent over barbell rows and make sure your equipment is where it needs to be at all times for the sake of not losing anything. So what we're gonna do is I like to go really wide on these and really target that upper back. So I put my pinkies on those rings and I go ahead and disengage the bar from the rack. And what we do now is we get in position, brace that core, hinge at the hips and get to a good angle. Now the point here is you want gravity resisting the bar. So get down to a good angle. Go ahead and focus on drawing those elbows back and squeezing those shoulder blades. So as we're going through the movement, make sure that when you hinge, you get down to a good angle that feels comfortable, stable, but strong. Now that we're down here, we're nice and wide. We wanna focus on drawing those elbows back and squeezing those shoulder blades, really contracting that upper back, forcing it to burn strengthen and grow.
All right, leading into the next exercise, we're going to do shrugs. We're gonna really build up that neck and those traps. So to be able to do that, to make sure that they burn, they grow, and they grow stronger, we need to make sure that we have the form right. So first and foremost, the progressive I'm gonna show you for better trap recruitment optimization of those muscles, we need to make sure that we go ahead and hinge at the hips, lean forward just a little bit, and focus on squeezing those traps up and back. Not just straight up, even though that's not bad, we can get way more muscle recruitment by slightly leaning forward. everybody thank you again for sticking with me for this long in the workout video and i hope you're enjoying the workout so far remember to hit the subscribe button like the video and share it to any of your workout buddies so we can all work out together so now we are second to last from the secret sauce exercise this next one is really simple we're just gonna do some hammer curls go a little bit heavier nice low volume we're gonna get that thickness of the bicep Let's go ahead, let's knock those out and grow those pythons. So you've stayed this long in the video, you deserve an award. Time for secret sauce exercise and why and how it works and why you would do it. So first things first, you need a rope and a kettlebell. Just like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we maintain tension on the bicep through the whole time that we have this in our hands. So we're gonna bring one side up, contract that bicep nice and hard. Bring the other side up, get that one a nice contraction, and we are gonna just move through the motions. Now it doesn't seem like much, but you give it 30 seconds, 40 seconds of doing this consistently, these are absolutely killer. So this is for all my pump chasers, those burnout burners, they just want that little bit left at the end of the day to make it feel like they did a little something extra this is for you. So grab that rope, grab that kettlebell, and start popping through it. Feel the burn, feel your biceps growing as you go through because they are getting a massive pump. So that is the secret sauce exercise, and the secret sauce behind it is you are keeping constant tension on the biceps and going through a different length and range of motion as you go through it. Whether or not you are curling that total weight it doesn't matter because they have constant tension on them anyway. And you're just training that tension through a full range of motion. And keeping that constant tension feels extremely intense. And it definitely feels different from doing curls even just with kettlebells or an easy bar or, an, or a barbell. Give it a shot, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the secret sauce exercise. And let me know if those biceps start just growing up and getting stronger. So that, was a really good workout. The secret sauce, all the main movements, you should be burning out, you should be working up a sweat, and you should have a really good pump, and you should feel fatigued. But remember, it's not about heavy, it's about consistency, it's about form. Play it smart, work hard, and you'll see the results. So don't forget to hit that like button and comment down below what your favorite exercise was during the workout. And as always, if you like the video, make sure you share it with your close workout buddies. Give it a try together. Do that group workout and let me know what everybody thinks. So, as always, stay grinding, stay smiling. I'll catch you on the next video. Until then, this is Shiloh signing off.